The Foreign Secretary has officially entered the general election campaign in a manner befitting no other politician, by introducing a real head-scratcher. In a column in The Sun, Boris Johnson referred to the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, as a mutton-headed old mugwump, leading to much confusion about the meaning of the term and a peculiar kind of fallout just six weeks before the country heads to the polls. So what is a mugwump? According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, there are two definitions. A bolter from the Republican Party in 1884, and a person who is independent, as in politics, or who remains undecided, or neutral. The dictionary website says, Mugwump is an anglicist version of a word used by Massachusetts Indians to mean war leader. The word was sometimes jestingly applied in early America to someone who was the head guy. It continues, The first political mugwumps were Republicans in the presidential race of 1884 who chose to support Democratic candidate Grover Cleveland rather than their own party's nominee. Their independence prompted one 1930s humorist to define mugwump as a bird who sits with its mug on one side of the fence and its wump on the other. Wikipedia has a similar definition. With the addendum, mugwumps were right-wing, similar in view to the British Tory party. The Oxford English Dictionary describes a mugwump as one who holds more, or less aloof from party politics, professing disinterested and superior views. In the world of Harry Potter, the supreme mugwump is the title of the head of the International Confederation of Wizards. The first appointed supreme mugwump was Pierre Bonaccord. However, his appointment was contested by warlocks in Liechtenstein because he wanted to ban troll hunting and grant rights to trolls. Albus Dumbledore was also appointed supreme mugwump, but was dismissed from his position after the Ministry of Magic refused to believe. Lord Voldemort had returned. Dumbledore was restored as a member of the Confederation when the Ministry accepted Voldemort's return, but not as Supreme Mugwump. Supporters of Corbyn have long called him a socialist version of Dumbledore, the hero and headmaster of Hogwarts. But last year, J.K. Rowling put these comparisons to end, tweeting to her millions of followers, Corbyn is not Dumbledore. In the William Burroughs novel Naked Lunch, which follows the narration of a junkie, William Lee, mugwumps are a predatory, alien species. On stools covered in white satin sit naked mugwumps sucking translucent, colored syrup through alabaster straws, Burroughs wrote. Mugwumps have no liver and nourish themselves exclusively on sweets. Thin, purple blue lips cover a razor sharp beak of black bone with which they frequently tear each other to shreds in fights over clients. In Rolled Dolls the Twits, the mugwumps are a group of caged monkeys, but perhaps the closest comparison comes from Dolls the Complete Adventures of Charlie and Mr. Willy Wonka in which Wonka refers to Mrs. Bucket as my dear old muddle-headed mugwump. What does it matter that the old girl has become a trifle too old? Wonka says, we can put that right in a jiffy. Have you forgotten Wonka Vite and how every tablet makes you 20 years younger? We shall bring her back. We shall transform her into a blossoming blushing maiden in the twink of an eye. Despite the fallout from the mugwump incident, Johnson has stuck by his choice of the word. Speaking on it of Good Morning Britain, the former London mayor said, I apologize to mugwumps everywhere. During an appearance on the Today program to talk about Labour's house-building pledge, John Healy, the shadow housing minister, 
said he, like many people, had to look up the meaning of the term mugwump, and that its use reflected more on the writer of the column than the target. I think this is Boris Johnson feeling left out of the election campaign, Healy said, calling the incident look at me name calling that you'd see in the Eaton playground. He said such an attack demeaned the office of the foreign secretary. Don't attack the person debate the policies let the people see a leader's debate.